Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. I do equestrian videos and today I'm doing part two of my collective tack haul series where I'm showing you all of the stuff I bought for my new horse that I um, got last year, May of 2021. I've had them all going on a year now and I have lots of stuff to share. So I have a mountain of things right beside me. I'll get into that. If you like my video, please feel free to click the red subscribe button down below. And then all of the items that I'm gonna be talking about today, I'm going to link below as far as where you can find them or details about them. And if you're interested in me doing a review video on anything I'm specifically showing you today, just leave a comment and I'd be more than happy to do that. Some of the items I do plan to do that already, but um, if I know someone's interested, I'll do more. So, all right, jumping right in. Everything's already unboxed. Some of this has been used already, so it might be dirty, just, you know, in all honesty, but <laughs> that's just how it goes. Okay, so the first item are basic splint boots. These are Smart Pack brand. They were doing a promotion where if you spent like, I don't know, 75 bucks, you'd get these for free. I've not used them. They're black, or they're a size large, and they're just a basic front um, splint boot, kind of brushing boot for protection, um, and the Smart Pack, Smart Pack brand. Um, so I'm kind of saving these for jumping or cross-country schooling, something like that, because I generally kind of don't use boots because I think they can make their legs a little hot um, and I don't do anything too crazy yet, um, but these will be good to have trailering, cross-country schooling or whatnot. So um, yeah, black splint boots. And then in the realm of protection, so my horse sometimes likes to rush <laughs> out of the, backing out of the trailer, bonk his freaking head and try to hurt himself. So he has to wear this ugly, beautiful, but ugly horse helmet. Um, I call it a helmet jokingly. I think they're just called a, a bumper. It's a leather bumper. I got on, actually, you know, I didn't get this on Amazon. I got this off of Poshmark, one of my um, used finds on Poshmark. I'll link Poshmark below. I'm not sponsored or anything, but you can find some used equestrian items on Pos Poshmark. That's so hard for me to say. Pretty cheap, but it's just a leather horse size head bumper. You put it on and their little ears go through like that. So if you have an idiot horse that <laughs> gets scared and tries to blow out back the trailer, it helps keep them from injuring their pole. But um, I don't remember how much I paid for this, probably like 12 bucks. Um, but it's just a really, really thick kind of like felt and then just a leather topper. And then the halter can run through these little keepers and kind of keeps it on. I will say if you use one of these, be careful because it makes it a lot easier for them to get out of their whole halter. So if you're holding them, it could kind of more easily slip over their ears. <laughs> so I don't know. It's kind of like, it makes me feel better using it. But then if your horse gets away from you, like, I don't know. But We'll see, I've used it a couple times, just makes me feel better. Um, more protection. I have Shire standing wraps. I haven't used these yet. Um, I got them on Amazon and then they're in my color, Hunter Green. Um, these are kind of more for like an injury to put over like a pillow wrap or whatever. And then I got them also possibly for trailer and I haven't had to use them yet, luckily, but the standing wraps are gonna be wider and then I believe usually longer than uh, polo wraps, so they're quite a bit more width and coverage. So, excuse me, burping away, I've been drinking soda. But Hunter Green Standing Wraps. Shires is a good brand. They make some affordable stuff. Um, they're, I think, a UK-based company, but it's pretty easy to find their stuff um, for uh, those of us in the United States. Um, on to other items I bought for kind of trailering and protection protection, safety. Um, since, you know, my horse mock sometimes decides he doesn't like to tie the whole blowing back in the trailer situation. I got this thing called a blocker tie ring. So the lead rope goes through here and it gives kind of pressure right here. So it'll kind of, if they go to pull back, they'll feel pressure, but then it'll let the lead rope give after a point. So it's kind of a way that I have been able to time in the trailer or to the trailer, 
but not have something that's gonna break like a safety bungee tie. Kind of doesn't, it helps with the claustrophobia feeling, I guess. I don't know, I need to work on any tips on teaching your horse to tie and not pull back. <laughs> Leave me a comment below. But the blocker tiring um, has worked pretty well so far. So that's what I use when I tie them up right now. Uh, I got this on Amazon and I did go for the slightly more expensive one that's I think stainless steel and not nickel plated. I'll link it below. Whatever the more expensive one was that's supposed to be stronger <laughs> and better, that's the one I got just because I was like, you know, I don't want it to break and or rust or anything like that. So blocker tiring, I think some natural horsemanship people kind of recommend them like Clinton Anderson or whoever, but it just, it, it works pretty well for me so far. Um, this was kind of random, so it's like a giant belt. I bought a really cheap fleece cooler off Amazon, but it didn't have come with like the belly strap. And I was like, what the heck? So it's gonna fly off in the wind. So I found this, um, it's like a surcingle on Amazon. And it's basically like a giant unbelt or, you know, for a horse, stretchy, <laughs> it clips like a blanket clip. I don't know, it's kind of hard to do. But anyway, it's like a giant belt for the horse. And uh, I found it on Amazon. I actually ended up um, finding it cheaper on Dover when they have clearance for like 19, or excuse me, $12 or something. But this is to keep his cooler on in like a really windy day since there's no straps. And those were kind of hard to find. I had to Google like blanket surcingle and usually like replacement surcingles would come up instead of that. So. I'll link that below. And then I've been doing way too much shopping on Poshmark lately. Um, even though they don't specialize in equestrian stuff, you can sometimes find pretty good deals, especially more so on apparel um, on there. And Poshmark's just an app, like a buy and sell app where they take a little percentage of your fee and they'll you know, have the postage label for you and all that. Um, but anyway, I found this Dover Cool Blast sun shirt and a ladies medium for a very good deal for like 75% off of, you know, what it would be on Dover. It's got the little ventilated sleeves and the cuff that matches the collar. But I thought this would be really nice for like a white long sleeve show shirt that was, you know, more in the 25 to $30 range instead of you know, 75, I think they're new on Dover. So pretty stoked about that. And should we stick with Poshmark, I guess? And Dover, I don't even know. I got another pair of breeches. They don't say what they are, but they're Dover. And they, I love these ones with the tan kind of beige knee patch because they kind of look like a more expensive Taylor Sportsman, but they're just Dover brand. And I got these for $25 plus shipping. They're super cute. If I can find the model, I'll link it, but they didn't have a name and they fit really cute, but they're Dover brand um, riding breeches and they're a, kind of a really pretty like navy gray and fit super cute. So I'm excited about those. I'm all about finding the deals. And I mean, they're like a really good quality and barely used, so. I highly recommend checking out Poshmark or Facebook marketplaces where I find a lot of my other used stuff. This is kind of a random thing. So my work, I work for a big company and you can get points where they don't give you cash, but they're like, oh, you got prop points. You can cash it out for items, right? Like all sorts of stuff. So I chose to get another sun shirt. This one's a Cutter and Buck brand. And I thought it was really cute and it's actually gonna match and it's a Haggerty shirt that I'm getting tomorrow, long sleeve. I thought this was so freaking cute. So I got this for, for free for being a good employee with my job. Um, and it's gonna match a shirt that I'm getting tomorrow from It's a Haggerty's that I'll do a review on because I have a discount code for It's a Haggerty's. So um, you can get 15% off now bet between now and March 20th and then after March 20th, it'll be 10% off. But um, I digress. It's a free shirt, super cute. Cutter and Buck kind of has a lot of like golf shirts and stuff, which honestly like a golf shirt and a horse shirt's like the same thing. So um, both kind of expensive for no reason. And Facebook Marketplace, as far as used horse stuff goes, I got this beautiful Devaku 
breastplate in actually summer of 2020. So I've had this a hot minute before I even got my horse. But it was a good deal because they're normally hundreds of dollars. And I think I got it for maybe like 120 and it just needed a really good oiling. So it's a Devaku five point, like a venting breastplate with the fleece. And it's beautiful. Um, it's got the green and the yellow. Um, really, really, really pretty high quality because it's Devaku. Gorgeous. Love it. Um, which is why lately more things I don't need, but on Poshmark the other day, I saw a no brand breastplate, but it was in the same kind of green and yellow that the Devaku one is. So this one was, I got it for like $15 plus shipping because it doesn't have a brand and it's the type of breastplate that just has the part that comes over the wither and then attaches to the billet strap. Yes, billet straps. I can't remember what those are called. And then goes around the front of the chest like this. But I was like, there's no brand on it, but the leather feels pretty nice. Uh, maybe you made an India type thing and it's used, but it's in good shape and it kind of is like a more vibrant color than the Devaku, but kind of goes with my whole green thing. So I was like, heck yeah. So I'm gonna try this out. If it doesn't fit my horse, I will post it for sale on my Instagram and Facebook Marketplace. So I think my last recent Poshmark purchase, again, I need to get off that app, but I buy, I do sell a lot of stuff too on there. So it's, it's kind of like I'm getting stuff for free, but probably not really. <laughs> I got a horse, H-O-R-Z-E, H -O -R -Z -E, horse. It's like hilarious sounding. I think it's pronounced horse. Maybe it's just horse. But anyway, brand bridle. So I was really excited about this one because I've been wanting to get a padded monocrown style bridle, like where it's anatomical like that for a while, but I just didn't want to spend hundreds of dollars on one, honestly. And this one came up and I think I got it for like, I don't know, 25 bucks or something. And it was like a bridle for $25. And I mean, plus shipping, but shipping is like $10. But it has the padded crown piece. I'll link it below because the name is this, oh, Whore's Constance, Constance Bridle, I think. I'll put it below. But it's like, it's nice. Like, I think new these are like 100 to $120 bridle. So they're not extremely like a high end. Um, I don't use the flash because I don't use a flash on my horse, but I just took that off and the nose band is padded, the brow band's padded, and then the crown piece is the monocrown padded anatomical. So, I mean, like the leather feels really good, especially for a more affordable bridle. I mean, this one was pretty well used, so I had to oil the heck out of it. And then it came with just some like kind of generic braided you know, reins, so I could upgrade the reins at some point, but I kind of like the braided old school hunter reins. And then this is kind of an aside, but this is my horse's dirty bit. He literally just uses like, it's all rubber with the Akavalo um, cheek pieces, which I really, really recommend if you're looking for bit guards. The, is it Aka? Oh no, it's Cavalier, Cavalier, Cavalier. I'll in, um, insert a link. They're super, super soft. And my horse has like the most sensitive little mouse. So he has just, this rubber bit, which I'll link below because it I got it on Amazon. I don't remember the brand, but it's pretty cheap. Um, and then I use these bit guards with the loose ring and he loves that. But anyway, back to the bridle, um, the horse or horse constants um, kind of connects more like that. And the only thing I don't like is it's kind of gold and I usually use more um, silver, like little metal pieces, but I don't really mind that much, but it's a, it's a soft, cute bridle. It's got their little logo right there. Um, kind of fancy stitching. I mean, it's not gonna be like as nice as like an Antares or some other bridle like that, but for, you know, $25, <laughs> you can't really, can't really complain. And then we're getting wrapping it up. I'm trying to keep the tack hauls a little shorter and just do a few more of them because I think my last one was like 30 to 40 minutes long. I have another Shires item. I actually got this. Where did I get this? It's escaping me right now. I'll think of it in a minute or I'll link it below. 
Um, anyway, I got a fly mask. I don't like really use fly masks that much. That's why I got this style. Um, this is for trailering or if it gets an eye injury or something like that. Oh, Chewy. Chewy.com is where I got this. ADD is, is a real problem sometimes. But anyway, this is more for trailering and whatnot because he just, it's, it's too hot one to wear for turnout. Like, I don't know who would buy this for like a turnout one or why Shires made them this way because this is like really thick and then this is thick and then this is thick. So, I mean, it's comfy, but if it's summertime and your horse is hot, they're gonna rub their stinking little face with this. But it's perfect for the trailer and I really, really like the fly masks that are kind of huge in the way that they really make this V around the eye because some fly masks just kind of crumple up near their eye and it's kind of like, what's the point? Cause it's rubbing them. So I really like the ones with the exaggerated kind of conical cone around the eye. And then um, I do love the kind of wide Velcro. Well, I wrote my little horse's name on there, Mock. Um, and I love the teal color, but that's just kind of more as a backup for the horse trailer so shavings don't get in his eye type of thing. I don't really use it for turnout and day to day. And let's see, when I bought my horse, he came with this really cute, oh, I gotta flip it around. This might be in reverse, so I might have to insert a picture. He came with this saddle pad and his racetrack name, jockey club name is Mach 5, like from the Speed Racer cartoon, which is a little before my time. But um, this is a custom saddle pad and it's from Pacific Rim International and it's their Continental PRI quilted pad. It's a really good quality with the wither relief and black piping around the edge. And I don't know how much it costs because it came with my horse because it was customized, but it's very, very cute and um, like a really good quality. So um, it's got the black underside and it's nice and dirty because it's been used, but I thought that was so cute to do like a little themed little thing on the saddle pad with his name on it. All right, I think I'm only gonna do a few more items in this one. Ooh, we'll definitely. This is one of my favorite, I might could say besides my saddle, one of my very favorite horse purchases. And I've actually owned this since like 2017. So honestly, it's kind of time to get a new one. Um, and she's a little dirty because she's been used, but this is my 1K Defender helmet in matte black. Absolutely love it. Love 1K. Like I have not found a helmet that's more comfortable. And I use personally Preppy to do that really cute little, it's hard to see because of the lighting, but my initials on the back of the helmet, it's pretty subtle, but it's kind of like a matte sparkly black. Um, but personally Preppy, um, I got that from them and that just makes it look really cute and a little different. But the 1K helmets, man, they have like great um, ventilation, just a really classic kind of look to them. And for me, I have a huge head and they make a round and an oval. So it was really nice to have the option. I have the round um, and they're not cheap. They're like in the 200 to 300 range, but they kind of have almost like the Sam Shield kind of even more expensive helmet look where, you know, this style, uh, can't think today, little snaps for this part. I don't know, they look really classy, look really good on, very well ventilated. I'm in love with 1K stuff. So um, like, I think you're supposed to replace your helmet like every three years and it's been a while for me. Luckily, knock on wood, I've never had any falls or dropped it or anything, but um, at some point, shh, my dog's about to try to bark. Come here, Archer. Hush, good boy. Um, yes, you good boy. Yes, you are. Uh, what was I saying? 1K helmets, love them. I do need to get a new one. They're just kind of expensive and I haven't had any falls in that. So I'm trying to kind of stretch it out as long as possible. So I don't have to spend the money. But if you do need to get a helmet, I think it's every September is Helmet Awareness Month. And there's usually like almost every company has sales. So I kind of recommend looking out for that. And then this guy was a Facebook Marketplace purchase. I love professional choice for English and Western Gersh. They're made in the United States, which I love since I 
live in Texas, but I got the, and this is so dirty, but this is real fleece on the bottom of this pro-choice girt, but there's Velcro and you can remove the fleece and then, which I brought it home to do, is to give this a wash and you just need to be really careful when you're dealing with the real fleece so that you don't felt it or shrink it or damage it. But um, there's a lot of information, videos out there about how to do that or I can make a video. But this is a 50 inch professional choice English girth and it has the roller buckles, which I really like. And I highly recommend these. I never have problems with them slipping even the regular neoprene ones. Um, I got this one because my horse got a little, got a little um, rub. I say the other one didn't rub. Somehow I got a rub and I think it was an injury plan with another horse. So I got this last year off Marketplace for maybe 40 bucks because new, they're pretty expensive. They're like 75. I mean, expensive compared to some, obviously like a real high-end leather girth is gonna be way more, but um, I like it a lot. Professional choice. Um, you can find them on Amazon too, so I'll link that below. And then the last couple items, this was one of those like, I don't even know what you call it, rubber band bungee thing that you're supposed to be able to put under their front legs and then attach up at the withers and then clip each of these, like one each to the bit. I didn't hate it, like it didn't work, it's way too short. Um, it'd probably work perfect for someone with like a cob or a pony, so I'm gonna sell it I think. It just didn't work. It's kind of like a, not Pessoa lunging system, but it's like a nice bungee thing to kind of help remind them to put their head down. That was like, I don't know, an impulse purchase. <laughs> and I've done a review on my Ariat Heritage boots, so I won't talk about them too long. They're nice and dirty because I used them for a show recently. But Ariat Heritage tall boots, love, love, love. I have a full review video on them, so. Um, but I got these, what, two years ago? Love them. And then the last item I'm gonna do today, cause I'm gonna make part three and four, are another dirty item, cause they've been used. But let me take the gator out of them. These are scoop boots. So these are hind boots for my horse because he would never, he would never keep his hind shoes on. They'd freaking lose his hind shoes all the time. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna try pulling those hind shoes and you're gonna wear these little scoot boots if you need them. At this point, he doesn't need to wear them unless he's like on super rocky terrain on a trail ride. So they really aren't even that broken in. And honestly, I think his hind feet might be outgrowing them. But um, I'll show you. I also got the endurance gaiters that go with these. My dog's like been slobbering on these. So the endurance gaiters go in like that and they're kind of like a little neoprene thing and then this wraps around the pastern and that way um, it keeps from rubbing, these little things from rubbing on his heel bulbs. But yeah, scoop boots, I kind of was thinking about doing a review on them just cause there's, I mean, there's some information from reps but there's not tons of information and they're nice and dirty cause they were used. Um, he's got teeny tiny little feet for a 16 two hand horse but Anyway, the scoot boots for the Heinz. I'll um, link where I got these from because I highly recommend going through a more local rep instead of buying straight from scoot boots in Australia um, because they will do free, um, they'll send you packages where you can try on a bunch of shell sizes so you don't accidentally buy a pair and then they don't work out and you can't return them. So um, I think Timberline Tack is where I got them and I'll put her link below uh, she was really, really great to deal with, and I did get the endurance gators too. So they were, I think, 20 bucks, 30 bucks or something, but they were worth it for me because of the regular gators that came with them. Didn't really work. Um, he got a little bit of rub. So, anyway, those are scoop boots, and I think we're going to cut this off here today as far as tack hauls go. If you guys like this video, feel free to, again, click the subscribe button below. Leave me a comment about anything you liked or questions about some of the stuff I showed you today, if you don't mind. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you have a great day, night, morning, whatever you got going on, and I'll see you later. Bye.